All right, guys, this is a room review for the Grand Hotel in Cape May, New Jersey. Brand new, updated, 2021. I was going to say 2020 for a second. I will walk through this whole hotel. They, they didn't just redo the rooms. The whole hotel is very updated and nice. All right, here we go. The door, and you walk in. And then this is what you see. You got space for luggage, hardwood floor when you walk in. Then it turns to carpet. Yeah, I'm a fan of it. I, I'd rather hardwood throughout. But I think carpet is still a little bit more regal in some situations if they keep it clean. You got trash, recycling, king size bed, couch, table. Balcony, little dresser area, TV, microwave, decent sized fridge, and that's it. One nightstand, you don't get one on each side. There's things I love and hate about this room. First off is the side of the bed, it's a little, it's not uh, comfortable getting in and out of it on that side. It's a little close to the wall. I like rooms that have a nightstand on each side and it's easy to get out of. This one you can't, but you deal with it for what you got. The nightstand here, I do like. Mom likes the marble tops on the dresser. Then the other big thing that we noticed last night that we didn't particularly like is right there. Why? Why don't we like that? It's way too small for the area it is. You could fit like a nice 55 inch and still would not be taking up the whole room. I get what they wanted to do. They didn't want like a whole TV and that's all your room is. But you could still put a better size TV in there and not make it look like it's just one big TV. This wall is phenomenal, isn't it? It's fake. It's like wallpaper. It's very good, but the one thing I was saying that we do not like about um, the walls, besides this wall that we absolutely love, is, take a look. Notice anything? If you notice, there is no paintings. There's no pictures. There's no artwork. There's no framed work of any sorts on the walls. I don't know if we are a fan of it or not. I'm just so used to seeing some kind of framed picture of something in hotel rooms. So it's a little, it's a clean look, but I don't know. Like a nice seaside picture would have been nice right there above the couch when you walk in. Table, it's cool got wing tables that come out and you put them anywhere. Then the A plus, we scored on this. They gave us the, I said, I want a room closest to the ocean. That is just a beautiful view. You do have a balcony here. It is um, semi-private. I'll show you what they mean by semi-private. I don't know if you can hear me. The wind is really loud, but we got a very nice room. Uh, we got lucky, but if you notice in back of me here, that's why it's semi-private. Everybody is lined up in a row. All your ducks are in a row, all their rooms are in a row. <laughs> okay, so you walk over this way here and you have where the entry room is and then you have a bathroom. I'll show you the bathroom. And where the mirror is, hi, the bathroom. doing some trippy things here. Very nice size bathroom, wheelchair accessible. It comes up on a slant, so you walk down and then you walk up. 
Oh, and I didn't mention the couch yet. Boom. This couch. It's like a suede. And it's so comfortable. I like fell asleep here last night. Foam mattress. Overall, it's a beautiful room. Can't complain. This is a pool area. I tried to say this before, there's screaming kids in the pool. But it's a nice, beautiful indoor pool. Especially if it's like really cold outside. But they keep they keep it up really nice. There's some dated things that they need to fix, but overall they did a good job fixing this pool area. You have murals on the wall. This mural has been here forever. We used to come here years and years and years ago and it was there. It's beautiful. But they did some tiling on the pool. It's a new pool bottom. The only thing that I don't like is like the missing vent. And then it's kind of dirty over in this section by the hot tub. The lights, they're so nice. And then these chairs are beautiful. space they used it a lot for um, gatherings weddings and like just to get everybody together but that's gonna be that's gonna look phenomenal and they have a lot of space there so we are totally excited to come back when they redo this place and we look forward to it all right guys now I'm just gonna do a montage of the rest of the building this is the um, parking for Hemingway's restaurant and Hemingway's is coming right up here where the stairway is there is wheelchair accessibility from inside the hotel lobby but this is the front of the hotel then this is the side of the hotel all the rooms are ocean view not ocean front because they are on the side street and you do have to look the opposite way to see the ocean then this is the lobby area in the carport where you come in and we're going to be going into the lobby in just one second. And this is a very clean look. I really like what they did in this lobby. They utilize the space very well. Then this is the hallway. Stabilization. Stabilization on the phone is no good. So these are the updated halls. A little dark, but nice. Now there are areas of this hotel that I haven't showed because of everything. It was the gift shop and the fitness room. And as you notice, there are paintings on the hallway halls, but not in the rooms for some reason. It's kind of odd. And then this is us just leaving the hotel and showing the lobby from the other perspective. And coming up here on your right, right there, that's how you access the Hemingway restaurant with wheelchair or from inside the hotel. Now we're just going to show pictures of what we liked and I hope you enjoyed the vlog. <laughs>